All right, Pet Man Matt Marr, Shot Football Insiders. We're back once again. Very excited to talk to a very talented defensive lineman uh, attending Butler High School. Uh, and his name is Sir Robinson. And we're going to bring him on here right now. How you doing, Pet Man? How are we doing tonight? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. Doing good. Good, good. So, you know, I introduced you as a uh, defensive lineman at Butler now. We know that, you know, you kind of made your name at Independence. Uh, mm -hmm. What kind of went into the decision of you changing from uh, Independence to Butler? Um, Really, like, a lot of my childhood friends and whatnot, they played for Butler, and I was like, you know, why not just go over there for my last year? And I was already living, like, right next to Butler, so I guess it just made the transition, transition easier. Very good, very good. I tell you, you know, I get a lot of questions sometimes from players asking about, you know, should I do this, should I do that? And, you know, the, the big thing that I always tell people is you only get this chance one time. So think about it, and if it's something that you know you want to do, do it, you know, because you only got one chance to be in, you know, a high school football player. So, you know, that makes sense. That's good. Appreciate that, man. Um. So, of course, you know, like I said, you're uh, a very good defensive lineman. You made some plays on the field. Um, we noticed you uh, throughout your career. Uh, in your opinion, what is the best thing you do on the field? I say my best thing I do is probably pass rushing. I like to get I like to get after the quarterback. I got a great get off. Um, I got better at using my hands or whatnot to get the uh, what's the name? The D line. I mean, the O line is off me. And I'm not the biggest guy, so what I do, I use a lot of speed when it comes to like pass rushing. But I can also use power too. I'm a pretty strong dude. Very good. I and I would agree with that. I mean, there were some times I was looking at a couple of highlights from, you know, Independence last year and you know, you flashed. You flashed and I said, you know, I gotta I gotta talk to this kid and you know. I'm glad we were able to get you on here and get you some uh, shine and recognition. So, you know, very good. Your film matches your statement. That's awesome, man. Uh, so let's back up a little bit. Uh, first of all, I want to know, uh, what made you want to play football in the first place? Um, I remember I was about, like, eight years old, and I was always, like, naturally strong. And my dad, he just asked me one day, did I want to play football? So, that's when I started playing football. But my my first two days at that first practice, man, I was crying. I wanted to quit because the hel the helmet was just too heavy. I was crying. I couldn't like, you know, you get a D lineman stance. And you got to lift your head up. I couldn't really do that. I couldn't do like, you no. Know, I just I was I was just not that good at first. But then uh, he taught me. He talked like talked to me about it and told me that I should never quit. And eventually, I just got better at it. And then here I am today. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So what age did you start playing? Uh, eight years old. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's good that you persevered through that. And, you know, now you're starting to see the benefits of it. And now you have the ability to go play on the next level, which leads into my next question. Um, you know, we talked before this. You said you got a couple offers from schools and you're going through the recruiting process. Uh, number one, what do you look for in a uh, school on the next level? And number two, do you have any favorites in that process right now? Um, what I look for a school is a great program. They got a lot of like good majors that I want to major in and whatnot. Um, just the atmosphere, the people, and what favorites. I say I would like to go to HBCU personally, like my hometown. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, so I like to go for the HBCU. I would like to go to FAMU or something like that. Very good, very good. Um, you know, I'll share a quick personal note. Uh, when I was going through the process, when I played, um, one of my biggest regrets was not going to HBCU just to get that culture and that you know experience. So I totally respect that, man. But um, you know, you may, that's very intelligent. You know about the majors and what you want to do. So you're on the right track, you know, mm -hmm. to make a good decision. That's awesome. Um, so we're dealing in a crazy year where we're playing football in the spring. Um, so what are your goals for the upcoming season? Um, well, our goal is to make it to the state championship and win it all. And we've been putting in a lot of work every day. Just been lifting hard, running hard, 
focusing on the fundamentals of the game and whatnot, and just working on our craft and whatnot. But, I mean, I'm ready for it. I was hoping to play this fall, but I'm just ready for it. I'm in shape. I'm feeling good, and the team is looking good, too. So. Very good, very good. So you mentioned some of the off-season work that you're doing. Uh, COVID-19 has, of course, you know, made things very difficult in trying to get that done. So what kind of things have you been doing to stay shape and get ready for this season? Oh, well, so I got – I'm down in my garage. I got a, a weight set. I got a treadmill in there. I got this um, the little parachute that you put around, you run on and work on how you get fast and whatnot. That's, what, that's like some of the stuff I've been doing at home. And then I've been working with – some of my friends or whatnot. We've been going to like the sand pit and uh going to like Matthew Sports Plate, just working on our footwork, agility, and like some D line moves and stuff. Very good, very good. It's nice that you're able to, you know, self motivate and get out there and get that stuff done. Cause you know, you see a lot of people posting their workout videos on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. But, you know, for <laughs> I always tell people for every video you see, there's three that people are just sitting around eating potato chips and, you know, being <laughs> lazy. <laughs> I commend you for getting out there and, and getting the work done, man. That's awesome. Um, I want to talk about your career a little bit. Um, in your opinion, what is the best high school football game you've ever been a part of? Probably. You must have been a good, it's been a lot of good ones. I say. Probably the Rocky River game from last year. Uh, what's the name? Well, we had like a game winning. We had the uh, the game winning interception and whatnot. And we had like my uh, teammate Davion. He had that ninety nine yard touchdown run to seal the game off and whatnot. That that was probably that was probably the most exciting game we've been a part of because it was like they was in control the whole game and we just fought back. We fought hard and we ended up coming out on top of that game. Very good. And yeah, I remember that run, man. I was watching the highlights. Mm-hmm. I said, good gracious, that's, that's incredible, man. Now, you don't see that very often. So that, yeah. that's awesome. It's a good deal, man. Um, who would you like to thank for your football success so far? Um, My dad, my mom, all the coaches that ever coached me in the past and that's coaching me now. And a handful of my friends, too, because we always like get together and work out, and we always push each other and motivate each other. Very good. Very good, man. That's awesome. Good stuff. Good to have a good support system. That's, that's really mm-hmm. good. Um, before we end this, I, I want to get your opinion on uh, what's going on in America. We just finished the election. Um, we got a new president-elect, but, of course, we're pretty much divided. Uh, mm-hmm. There's been a lot of social injustice going on, a lot of protests, uh, things of that nature. Uh, what are your thoughts on everything that's going on right now? I mean, all the shootings and stuff, that's just terrible. Uh, I feel like we could do like better as a country and whatnot, because we've been dealing with this stuff for like over 400 years. So it's like it's time like we get treated better as people and whatnot. You know, that's really how I feel about that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, at some point, you know, something's got to give if we want to get better. And, you know, I think it's just going to take a couple of sides to sit down and start listening to each other and understanding where each other comes from. Uh, So I definitely agree. Um, So we're going to have a lot of people watching this. Um, You know, of course, we're recording this. It's not live. So um, Mm -hmm. what do you want to say to people that support you um, and have supported you throughout your career that's going to take a look at this? Uh, I want to say thank them and whatnot because if it wasn't for them, I probably, I don't know. I don't know how good I'll be or I wouldn't know. I don't know if I'll be as good as I am now, but yeah, that's what, that's what I want to say. And what they can expect to see this season coming up, they can expect to see a lot of dom- domination up front, a lot of sex. We got a seven game season. So I'm, I mean, I'm aiming for at least 10 sacks this year, pretty much. And we expect them to win it all. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. I mean, and you mentioned the talent over there at Butler. Um, I think you got, you know, some really good talent and some kids that I've talked to uh, previously. 
Um, and then it, you got a really good coaching staff of Coach Hales, one of my favorite guys to always talk to and uh, work with. So um, I'm excited to see what you guys put together over there this year. And, um, you know, I appreciate your time coming on here tonight and sharing a little bit with us. And um, no problem. hopefully we'll see you. Absolutely. And hopefully we see you on the field here soon. Um, this COVID stuff is crazy. So hopefully, you know, in the spring we'll get over there and uh, we'll talk in person again, man. All right. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate you coming on tonight. All right. No problem. Thank you, too.